Howdy guys, I'm back. Or Nintendo Capri Sun, whatever. <laughs> Who is Nintendo Capri Sun? I have no idea. Who is the Muffin Man? Now let's check this right hallway, which we didn't get to do last time, and we got a scripted battle, and that's not very good, that's not very nice. I don't like scripted battles very much, and it's just bomb, so I'm gonna skip the battle and edit it out. And that really sucks, because now I'm gonna end up with a 25 minute video. Okay, we got a malfunctioning door here, that's not good. And we have an Albed Primer. Cool. That's the one I was worried about. Jeez, I just got 7,000 experience from that battle. I let Riku die like a dumbass. Neglectful dumbass that I am. Alright, let's see what's in this door, shall we? Go inside. Don't hesitate. No, not that way. What? Oh, good lord. Okay, well that time I let Titus die. But that's not neglectful, that's just funny right there. That's what that is. Wait a minute, no, don't do that. I'm out of high potions. That's lovely. That is quite lovely. I can't believe I let myself run out. Anyway, there's a sphere here on the ground. It's an Albed compilation sphere. I think that sphere that I saw on the floor in that other place that I missed wasn't actually a jet sphere. It was an Albed compilation. But I'm, I could be wrong. Okay, the first digit is 4 plus 1. Okay, that's 5. The second digit is 7 minus 1. That's 6. The third digit is 3 times 1. That's 3. Fourth digit is two plus one, that's three. That is right, isn't it? Yes! Man, I'm awesome! Okay, anything else in here? Albed, uh. Verification. Oh. Are you Albed? Ah, uh, yes. Name the son of the Albed leader. Ah, uh, that's brother. On what island do the Albed live? That's Bigginel Island. What is Albed in Albed? Albed. <laughs> Obtain skill sphere! Awesome! What else can I do in here? But don't leave the room! Well, okay, that's probably all there is. Can we get through this door? Uh, I don't know. There has to be a, a way to do it. Jeez, uh, dead body here, I didn't even notice. Why is there a green... There's supposed to be, like, a living quarters room here, too, or something? I hope that's not something I missed in the last room. Because, like... Wait a minute, isn't there, like, a door on the wall back here somewhere? Yes! Yes, it's right here. Wait, no, no. Right there! It's, okay, I can't see for, to save my soul. <laughs> no, uh. that way! <laughs> Okay, I believe this is the living quarters, and we got a couple of treasure chests in here. The treasure, uh, chest of dreams asks, what do I contain? Oh, okay, so you pretty much just get to choose whatever you want. I'll take an elixir. <laughs> That's funny. How about this one? Enter the password in proper Albed. Sorry, that's Kuno, or... Uh, right there. Right there, that's it. Wait, uh, I hope there's not a time limit on this. A I T. Uh, what? Wait, that's wrong. Oh, that's totally wrong. It must be this one. It's all the other one. Okay, yeah. Pardon, that would be. Huh. Looks like probably this one. None of the other ones even start with P. Except for that one, maybe. Okay, anyway, we got it. Obtain Friend Sphere. That's awesome. These are these are good little treasures here to pick up. Did we just go deeper into the room? No, wait, let me check that again. There there ugh. There's a living quarters room somewhere in here that has an L bed on the bed. Or yeah, yeah, primer on the bed. That's volume twenty. Okay. I didn't realize I came in from that direction. For some reason I was thinking I came in from the left. Like the left side of the screen. That's weird. You know, it's funny, all this time I've been complaining about stealing high potions, like I didn't need them, and now I've been run out of them. <laughs> Took that walk yesterday, I haven't had a runny nose ever since then. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Here we go, now we can move on with the plot here. Oh, well, you've already seen this cutscene. Crap. Yuna, where are you? <laughs> She's in your pants, dude. Oh my god, we're up to 3-4 levels, gaining 7,000 experience from every battle. Oh, I, I, why did I start talking at the wrong time there? I'm not going to know when to bring it back. Jeez. 
Okay, so uh, let's uh, head up this way, see what we got. No, they can't walk around that. It's electric, it's exploding. It's probably dangerous. Let's go down this way. Riku, what is the Summoner's Sanctum? The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnap them? I mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But Guardians are there for that. If Guardians do their job well, summoners will be safe. Right? Right? It's quiet. Kimari goes now. It's too quiet. It is too quiet. What's with all these scenes? Like, we were, you know, everybody was all silent in the moon flow. We wondered what was going on there. And now, oh, by the way, Apollo just got here. That's why I stopped and had to go answer the door. Now everybody's running again. <laughs> running from the truth. Don't stop on my account. <laughs> I love how Waka says, oh, I get why you did it. It's like he's finally understanding. And then Titus turns around, and, and and he's the one who doesn't get it. So it's like a total role reversal for just a few seconds there, before eventually the truth is revealed, which will happen shortly here. Yuna, please be here. Oh God, please be here, Yuna. I love you so much. Okay, uh, wait. We gotta watch for. Jeez, there's a dead guy up here on the stairs. Has he got anything on him? Let's give him a little. Uh, Let's give him a, uh, what is that, a, it's an ESA or TSA? I can't remember the acronym. Just give him a rub, or a rub, a rub down. Now, I believe there's a level 4 key sphere hiding around here somewhere. Let me check. Yep. Bam! All right. Oh, God, we don't have time for this scene. I'm at 1808 right now. I'm going to try. So I think I got about three minutes left. I got a lot of stuff to cut out at the beginning. And it does go to 15:30, so maybe you'd be surprised how big a difference that 30 seconds makes. Uh. Oh man, do we have to fight the stupid guy first? Hopefully Yuna. not. Yuna. Someone told me that the guy who voices Waka also voices Kimari. That's kind of funny. She's not here. What? Hello again. We came all this way for nothing? Oh, I think they kidnapped you guys, too. We have performed the sending. They died. Protecting us. It's not much, but the least we can do is give them a proper sending. Well, yeah. I can't think of anything funny to say. There's not. There's, I shouldn't be trying to be funny in a part like this, though, I guess. <laughs> Hey, um, what sacrificed? They all bed said summoners were being sacrificed. Oh, jeez. That summoners that. shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The all bed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages See? have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkin, they might defeat Sin. Uni could, but then she. Uni will die, you know. You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. But then, but then, if she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Uni too, you know? <laughs> Was I the only one who didn't know? Tell me why. Why were you hiding it? 
Why didn't I know? We weren't hiding it. It was just too hard to say. Man, oh man. I can't say I'd act any different. I mean, a lot of people talk about this scene like he's whining here and stuff, but... Lulu! How could you? How could you? Isn't she like a sister to you? I thought you were family. Why don't you do something, Waka? Don't you think we tried to stop her? She follows her heart. You know, she knew what she was doing. When she chose to become a summoner. To face sin, ya? Yeah? You knew. But Waka, that's just totally wrong. Summoners shouldn't have to sacrifice themselves. Just so the rest of Spirit can be happy, right? children and we will use that power even if it means our lives Holy mackerel. Yeah, guys, I think we got it too far here today, so... Sorry I didn't talk for all that time. I was just kind of... Didn't know what to say, really. <laughs> May watch. Oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, dear God. Do not go back to this thing. Do not. Hey. You got pretty good. Well, maybe they'll have the... Not maybe, maybe they'll be nice enough to mute the sound for it. Yeah, maybe. Want a screen? Mm-hmm. I really don't think that's going to help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know? <laughs> I know... It's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now, let's see what you can do. Ha 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 ha. No. I guess the point of this scene is to take you back through, like, and kind of, because, you know, you find out this revelation halfway into the game, it kind of changes everything that you knew up to that point. So, to be full I mean, the idea is when you do the second playthrough, you play it knowing that from the beginning, but I guess they give you a piece of, you know, the first half of the game just to see, just to get a small sample of how much it really changes what you thought you knew. Or how much it changes that one scene, so you can only imagine how much it changes the entire game up to that point. I can't let her die. Something. You tell that asshole. I'll find her. Okay. I guess so. 
Okay, give me a save point and control of Titus so I can turn this <laughs> thing off. Yes, I need a save point desperately. God, these cutscenes are almost as bad as Gear Solid. Oh man. Well, not as bad. But Ten thousand gil. Yeah, they are long. Very long indeed. That was a pretty heavily emotional cutscene. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, like just watching it, I was getting the same emotions from the end of Mother Three. I know, man. That's. It's, like, it's, it's pretty heavy stuff. 